Pavan Davaluri, Corporate Vice President of Microsoft over Windows. You've got uh, a new device here. It's got to do with the cloud. It's like a PC, but not a PC. Explain to me what this is. Sure, uh, John. Welcome to Ignite, first of all. Thanks. I'm glad, glad you're here with yeah. us. Um, this is our new Windows 365 Link device. It is a purpose-built device to connect you to a cloud PC. What customers love about this device and what they've been asking for is a simple, secure, purpose-built device that has a minimal lockdown operating system. There's no local storage, no local files, no local admin control. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Too many nodes? Yeah, yeah. well, well this, is, this is like, it works like a PC, but it's not a PC. Yeah. Right? Not a full-blown PC, because it's working with the cloud. It's the link to your cloud. So Correct. what's the processor in this thing? It uses an x86 processor to host the local operating system that oh. we use, which is a lockdown configuration, a small version of Windows, mm -hmm. that is highly secure, and its only purpose is to link your monitor and keyboard to the cloud. Right. And your computer in the cloud. The idea being that a lot of the computational heavy lifting is happening in the cloud. In the cloud. And this correct. is just the piece that's correct. here locally helping that's you run. Correct. So it's more affordable that's than right. a desktop or laptop that you'd be able to. Absolutely. Yeah. It, is, it is much more affordable than traditional client computing because the compute's happening in the cloud. A lot of our customers have been asking for this around scenarios and workers that include frontline workers, folks who are working in offices or hot desking, people who need high performance compute in labs, uh, folks who have specialized workplaces, for mm -hmm. instance, and they want the benefits of having compute in the cloud, a simple device management solution on the edge that can be streamlined, and one that is highly secure. Okay. And so none of your corporate data is local on the system, you don't have admin privileges in the system, you can install malware on the system. Okay. And so it is a lockdown configuration purpose built. So you don't need a whole bunch of memory or a whole bunch of Correct. storage in this because Correct. it's connected to the cloud. How Correct. do you log into it? Great question. So that's one of the things we've really worked on as a team is making sure the login experience is as simple and streamlined as, as possible. Uh, what I, I'm going to show you here today is a two-factor auth experience for, for security purposes. So there's a pass key that you use to log in and then um, I'm going to also touch here to verify proof of my presence. Okay, and what, then is, what is that? Logged in. So that's a, a FIDO key. It helps you with multi factor authentication. Okay. And as a user, as a customer, certainly as a commercial customer, it gives you the ability to validate proof of presence of a user before they log into their PC. And it's got a fingerprint sensor on it? Uh, this is a FIDO key in itself that has proof of presence. Uh -huh. We can also do uh, biometric readers, we can do NFC oh, card proof readers. Proof of presence. What, how is that different from? Uh, you're using, uh, in this instance, you're using a combination of your pass key mm -hmm. and your presence, mm -hmm. uh, but you can also just use a direct biometric reader, which is your presence and your identity tied uh, to it. Yeah. In that instance, my pin was my identity. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also use NFC, so you can use a phone to log in, for instance, because it carries your credentials. Uh, but the key is for us to be able to make sure it is multi-factor. Okay. So you've logged in, and uh, what are we seeing? So you are seeing my cloud desktop. Mm -hmm. We logged in as you just saw in a matter of seconds, and once you're in, you're actually working with your cloud computer. And, uh, and all this link device did was to really connect my peripherals and my monitor to my cloud PC. So when you say your cloud PC, I take it that means if you're working at home yeah. and you log in at home, this is what comes up, like the last work that you were doing. That's, that's exactly Whether right. Whether it's on your laptop or if you have a desktop at home, whatever device you're using, if you log in on your corporate account, it's calling to the cloud and being like, here you go. That is right, John. Okay. We think of Windows 365 as your computer in the cloud. And just like you and I store files and photos online, you now have a computer that's in the cloud, and it is accessible through any device as long as you have an internet connection. And this device is one purpose-built way of being able to access that computer in the cloud. You can certainly use other devices as well. And in this instance, you are, as you just mentioned, you are picking up my cloud PC, my last moment of use of it on another device, as it turns out. And so I've got my environment here. I have you know, a bunch of Windows apps, of course. I, was, you know, I have Teams you know, up and running, a presentation I was working on last. One of the things I wanted to show you uh, is uh, the CPU. We have a 24-core processor running. It's got a GPU in it. So a very, very high-performance system that's now in You say that's running, but yep. that's not running right there. That is exactly right. It's <laughs> running in the cloud. Okay. And this is your link device. And all it is doing is intermediating your streamed connection from your desktop in a secure fashion down to these peripherals. And so in the cloud, there's just a, a virtual PC set up that has those capabilities. Correct. And uh, it, it's giving 
That's that. That's correct. There are CPUs, yeah. GPUs, storage that we're using in the cloud, uh -huh. Windows running in the cloud, streamed down through the link device to your monitor. 